Hi and welcome to this video about how to add a countdown timer to your class website. This is a really really helpful tool because students love to be able to see how much time they have left to complete a task and parents have also said that it's it's really clear for them to be able to see that as well. So you can see an example of the countdown on my year 11 website. I'm just in semester 2 in easy A. Um, and they can see here that their draft has already been due, so that due date has passed, and that their final essay worth 30% is due in five days. Okay, so it's really clear, it counts down, even when I exit out of this window, it will keep counting down until that due date. So, it used to be very, very simple to um, add a countdown timer to your website. It is what's known as a plugin. So, Weebly has um, quite a few options. So, these are your um, I guess your buttons or tabs or um, options over here. So these are your items that you can drag and drop onto your website to create. Um, basically there are third party companies who recognize that there are some functions that it didn't have such as a countdown timer and so they produced a tool that you can add in um, to your own Weebly. This used to be very simple. Um, it used to be a matter of, I'll show you how it works. So these are some of the plugins that a company called Power offer. I found them really, really good quality um, and usually quite easy to install. These are some of the different plugins that you can add to your Weebly through them. Okay, so some of these are obviously going to be um, less helpful for a teacher, but these are some of the options. And it used to be a simple matter of um, going to the the um, plugin that you want. You used to be able to click add and it would come up with all of your different websites. It would actually recognize that you are already logged into Weebly in another tab and you could then add it to your website so that when you open that website, so this is my um, English website, I'm into the editing mode, you can see that down the bottom I have a power countdown third party plugin here. And all I would have to do is pick that plugin up and drop it straight in. Okay, it was quite simple. Um, the past few months of 2016, though, Weebly has um, disabled that function for educators Weebly. I'm not too sure why. I'm hoping they will change it back. But I have found a way that you can still add it onto your page. It just requires a few more steps. So what you'll need to do to start with is just um, go to the Power website. So I think I've got it here. So all it is is um, power.io. You can also Google power, P-O-W-R, and it should be the first thing that comes up. And I'll be sure to put a link on the website as well. Um, and you want to click this uh, try it now for free button. So I've obviously already got an account, so I'm going to click the sign in. Um, but yours looks very similar. All you need is an email and you create your own password. Sign up. It'll probably send you an email asking you to confirm that email as well. Um, and then you'll need to log in with those details. Okay, so a few steps in there. Wait for this to load. I found that it went to this page with me as well. All I did was refresh that page um, and I think I went back as well and it then let me log in. I don't know why that step is there. there. There's obviously a few issues with the plugins at the moment, but it's still working, which is good. Now, what you'll see here is a very, very messy plugin homepage. This is because I've never had to use this method before. And obviously, you can see that I'm just creating one by one individual countdowns from my Weebly, dragging in. I'm not naming it. Um, and so obviously, I'm not reusing it, which is why mine looks like this. Yours should be blank at this stage, right? So don't worry too much about that. For a countdown timer, what you want to do here is select Create New Plugin. And again, it gives you all the different options of what you can create. And we want to go to Popular and select the countdown timer. So select this one here, and it will open a new page for you. And then when it loads, it basically asks you if you want to start a countdown timer from scratch or an import, important existing one. So I suppose once you have produced a few of these, you might like to import an existing one. But let's do the start from scratch today. This is the section that you'll customize. So things like counting is basically what it's going to count down to. So if you click that little arrow, it will bring up your options. Um, I always count to a date because I want the due date to be the countdown, I guess. Um, you can change the date through here, so flick through the months if you like and then select a date and click done. 
You can also select a time. At Brighton, our due date is always 4 p.m., so I always change it to that. And I want to count down. So I want students to know that they have four days left, three, two, one, um, and so on. You also want to customise your title. So this is the text that appears. I'll show you here. So this is the title here. So if you didn't have a title, it would just be a blank countdown, which is really hard for students to try and work out what it's for. So you could put something in here like essay due, and then you want to show that title. So make sure that you complete this part and you click this button to show that it's blue, and you'll see that it previews over here about what it's going to look like on your page. All right, so let's close these two. They are done. It saves as you go, so don't worry about saving. Display options, I leave all the same. Um, the during and after count, I don't change any of those. So really when I'm customising, the only thing I change is the counting and the title. Click next. I leave all of this the same. Feel free to change it if you would like it to look different, but I'm quite happy with how it looks. So click save. Let's just create this as an example. Save that. Now it's going to ask you if you want to pay for their pro version. Free tools always do this, um, but make sure you just collect, select the free option here. Okay, it's going to ask you which site you would like to add it to. Now we're using Weebly, so you would click this one here. And this page opens up to um, the version I discussed earlier, where all you had to do was click an add button and it just seamlessly went into your site. That isn't working at the moment, so you need to find this little underlined blue section called this tutorial instead. So click that one there. And what this does is gives you a code. So don't panic, this still isn't coding, it's just a copy and paste job. Like I said, it's just a few more extra steps, it takes a little bit longer. So what you'll do is scroll down to step number two, and you'll see that there is a bunch of um, coding script in here. All you need to do is click this button here that says copy, and it will copy that whole section. You can see it's got that tick there. Then go back to your website. You then want to find where you want to put the timer. So as an example, I'm just going to put this here. Um, and you want to go still in the build section here. You want to scroll down until you can see this part here that says embed code. So pick that one up. Drag it over to where you want your timer to sit and wait for it to load. Okay, you then want to click into that embed code section. You should see the text highlighted and you want to command V or control V just to paste that in there. Okay, you'll now see if you click out of that, um, it's kind of disappeared. Don't panic, you haven't done it wrong. I've just found that when this happens, you have to refresh the page. So all I'm doing is refreshing my page Remembering that it saves as you go, so you're not going to lose any work whatsoever. Just waiting for that to then load and refresh. Here it is. So whenever you refresh a page, it's always going to take you back to your home page. So make sure that you scroll back to exactly where you were before. I was in plugin, so I'm going to click that one and wait for it to load. And if I scroll down, I will see, yep, just loading. There it is. There is my countdown timer that I put in there. Okay, so just like all the other tools, if you hold on to that button there, you can shift it around the page. Just be aware that it will probably disappear again and you'll need to refresh, which can get a bit annoying. Um, and you can also customise once you have put it in here. So if you click on the countdown, it will give you um, a selection to position it on the page. But this little edit countdown timer is only visible to you, not your students. And that will take you back to that power editor where you can adjust your countdown or your title, etc. So this is a bit of a tricky tool to use, which is why it's one of the extension options. Have a bit of a go, and if you get stuck at any of the stages, just pause the video, rewind, and have another go. All right, good luck.